başladı. Shut up. I'm just, I'm gonna say what I need to say and I'm not gonna waste your time. So in today's video, as promised, I'm going to be reacting to more Miyash to you in accordance to the poll. It will be traffic jam today. Another very popular request that I've seen repeatedly in the comments, and you know me by this point, I'm a man of people. I was fucking stupid. But anyways, uh, what else? Uh, make sure to follow me on Instagram, Twitter, see all my dumbass memes. I'm gonna make a Discord soon, I promise. I promise. I'm just, I'm really, I'm really fucking lazy. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I don't know why I keep putting that off. It'd be a lot of fun. Okay, let's get right into it. All right. Fuck, I'm excited. Okay. Oh shit. You have no idea how much I've missed this. Like, just already what's on screen. Vocal flower. Niru Kajitsu's name. <laughs> All right. I already fuck with the vibe. The fuck? <laughs> wait, what the hell? Wait, 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 wait. That sounds really, really... That sounds really weird right off the bat, holy shit. Quite the change up from the previous, you know. His previous songs. What the fuck? <laughs> the art style seems a little different. Holy shit. Hey, is that me? <laughs> no, but holy shit. Yo, like, I'm, I'm fucking with this so far. Like, a lot. It's very different. It's very different. You get me, right? Feels like an acid trip. <laughs> Oh, here we go. <laughs> One man. What the fuck? <laughs> Why is, it, why is his head a lemon though? I don't get it. Or just fruits in general. The hell? Oh my god. This is okay, hold on. Again, an, another fruit head. This is quite the departure from his previous stuff. By a lot. <laughs> I feel like Miyashi you definitely had a, a, a really fun time covering this song because it's just... It, se it even seems like a lot of fun to record for. Like, he... I don't know. Something about it. It's groovy as hell too. Black and white. <laughs> Dude, it's so easy to dance to this one. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, this is without reading lyrics yet, but it almost looks as if, like, these people, like, you know, the ones on the left, like, the more, I guess, normal-looking, non-yellow versions, it, it seems like those could be, like, maybe the, their past selves or something, like, perhaps something happened to make them look like this, like, maybe they're in another fucking world or dimension, I don't- I have no idea, and this was who they were before. Oh, his voice. Whoa. Rewind, rewind, wait. I was not expecting that for for it to just like go tranquil. 
And then to have that kind of angelic voice. <laughs> That's the voice I missed. I mean, I see he's going like more aggressive. A lot of dancing. What does deduce mean? I mean, I know what deuce means, but why? I don't know why they're repeating it so much. See, now who are these people? What the fuck? Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. I love the instrumental. Holy shit. <laughs> Music by Nero Kajitsu, vocal flower. Yep. A lot of yellow. Thank you. Okay, you're welcome. Wow. Uh, stop, 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 Mr. Beast. First things first. Way, 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 Different, different vibe from all of the previous Miyashi Yu songs that I've listened to. It's so, like, the best way to describe it is weird. The music in general is just weird. But in the best, I say that in the best way possible. It's not weird to the point where I, I don't find it enjoyable. It's, it's that, it's that kind of weird that I like that I can still listen to it and still be like, yo. This shit's hard. <laughs> like, I don't know what to feel right now, but I'm liking it. And like I said at one point while listening, it just seems to me like it had to be fun to make that, that video. I feel, I, I hope me honestly you enjoyed himself like making that just because the whole vibe of it was really groovy. I mean, you saw the dancing and whatnot. Almost made me want to dance along with it. Uh, lucky for you guys, I didn't because whole sh Yeah, the, the things he was doing with his voice mixed with the, the instrumental parts of that music video, of, of the song. Everything about it just seemed fun to me. I don't know why. I'm really happy that we, we reacted to this today just because it is such a nice change up from what we've been reacting to thus far. As for the story, it was really, it was kind of confusing. So like at the end, okay, so I pointed out that it showed the, the, the it what seemed to be the two main characters side by side with what seemed to be a version, a different version of themselves, perhaps the original version of themselves. And the uh, the yellow color scheme versions of themselves aren't the originals, or aren't their normal selves. And then towards the end, or at the end, you see the colors shift back like to normal, and it, it seems like they're panicking or something, I don't know. They seemed, they seemed confused. And then you see the, the yellow versions of themselves atop garbage. The whole thing was odd. This whole thing was odd. The music was odd. But once again, I say that in a good way. I'm just saying, like, I'm explaining my difficulty in, interpret in, in interpreting this. So yeah, let, let's just, let's go back right now. And let's do our best to make sense of this video with the lyrics on now. Okay, <laughs> I didn't hear that the first time, what the fuck? Man straight up told us to shut up. <laughs> yeah, shut up. Hey, with that voice, that sexy ass voice of yours, I'll do whatever you want. Pause. Traffic jam? Huh? Nothing. Oh no, it's a crash. Now who's at fault? With click click and flash. Well, how pitiful. Suicide would be a fair apology. Sorry to everyone for going on ahead. You won't be forgiven. Catch him. Fleeing? What a coward. Okay, so, alright, so start off the bat. This person is running and they're calling him a coward. Ah, uh, yes, again, it's a crash, a flashing red light. Now, who's at fault this time? Doesn't matter who, then it's this one's fault. Okay, it seems like. They're just blaming people. I don't know what the fuck. It looks almost like a throne. 
It's eat or be eaten. Let's not get extreme. It has nothing to do with me. The wholesome won't sell this. The wholesale won't sell this. Jesus Christ. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Until you pass away. Until I pass away. We won't cancel the game because of injuries. Deuce, deuce. Okay, so they're playing a game. Until our outer shells fall off. Until morning comes. Let's share the jewel between us two. What does- what do the fruits mean? My, how sad, only sad stuff like this happens. Moreover, for this self-seeking soul, it's good it received life, but... Fault-finding, flaw-finding, tireless human nature. Ooh, okay, this is the first proper... Thing I can identify some progress that we're making so it seems it, it, it took a job right there at human nature you know we're always looking for flaws we're always looking for faults in people and looking for scapegoats blaming everyone but ourselves that's what I'm gathering so far from the blaming from the blame game that we saw going on a little earlier recovered by the fire lit by claws wait a minute this town is bittersweet especially at night with a tiny light, it'll just end with freezing over. Weather warm and distracted from worries, an early sacrifice of sophistry? Anyways, it's become a difficult world to live in, eh? Let's start singing. Let's begin. Until you pass away. Until I pass away. No way it'll be tracked down. Deuce, deuce, deuce. Until we're fools. Until our drunkenness passes. Let's cavort. My vocabulary sucks, I'm sorry, I don't know what that means. Let's cavort in the coffin. Succumbing to unease. Okay, see, but right there, succumb to unease. It, I don't know, who, who are they? Who, who, who are those people? Staggering away. The place arrived. The place arrived at is the last. With no turning back, a dead person from cradle to grave. I love this part. And I fuck. Oh God, I love it. Ah yes, a crash as always. Now who is the victim here? This is in very poor taste, amusing. No limits nor morals from beginning to end. To dance and be danced. A filling traffic jam. A meaningless life already at a dead end. To ensure no one lays a hand on you. I'll make sure... I'll sh... Wait, fuck. I'll sure make a prayer day by day. Oh, what happened? Who walked in on them? <laughs> that face. Do this, do this, do this. Until you pass away, until I pass away. We won't cancel the game because of injuries. Until our outer shells fall off. Until morning comes. Let's share the drool between us two. Let's, yeah. Until our lungs burst. Until throats get sore. We two forfeit our size. So if we can always be here, it'd be fine even if I never become human. Okay. Let's move on from life in this finished world. Until Deuce runs out. Without sparing flesh and bones, let's cavort. Traffic jam. Okay. Very interesting. Very, very interesting. Okay, honestly, this one, I'm not even gonna lie, I, I had a tough time really taking something full and complete away. My apologies. The, the main part where I was able to like draw something and like just one thing from the video was that human nature can be a bitch and that especially nowadays with social media, cancel culture, cyber bullying and whatnot. Right here, tireless human nature, fault finding, flaw finding. In the beginning it was just somebody, somebody running away from what seemed like a monster 
And who knows what the monster represents? It could be all of society, it could be the, the collective push of people to just jump on somebody online and just bully them to death because it's fun, right? It's fun to be a part of the big group and have a laugh and make memes about somebody without without regard for who exactly was made the scapegoat, you know? Human nature, or just us as humans nowadays, are always looking for somebody to blame for something. I'm only saying blame specifically for what happened here at the beginning of the video with that woman in the uh, the chair, the throne, saying, whose fault was it? Oh, let's make it this one. And then when they're found to be guilty of something, we don't really wait to question whether or not it's true, we're just like, hey, this is the next thing we're gonna just all take part in. Fuck waiting. We're gonna persecute this guy or girl. Like, we know for sure that they are in the wrong. And you see right here, they even have their binoculars. It's almost like they're searching for somebody to spread rumors about and to start the cycle once again. Other than that, in terms of the people in, the, in this music video, the yellow man and the girl, and then the two normal looking ones at the end. I don't know. I, I wasn't able to draw any connection, really. Let me just go ahead and search for somebody's theory, perhaps, in the comments, because in the comments of these videos, there's always like some guy or girl with 500 IQ dishing out whole explanations of the video from start to end. So hopefully the comment section doesn't fail me now. Okay, and needless to say, I was right. <laughs> Jesus, this is a whole article. Oh my god. Anyway, I'm excited. I want to see everything that I missed. And hopefully you guys learned something from this guy too. So, from Neon Bunny. Here's my theory on the meaning of this song. I'll be including some of the lyrics of the English translation, not mine. I think this song is supposed to reflect the current gossip-obsessed world we live in. I kind of got into something like that. Let's start with the beginning scene of a car crash that happened. In this video at the beginning, we can see the scene of a car crash and a lot of cars stuck in a traffic jam caused by this. Ah, oh no, it's a crash. Now who's at fault? These are comments made by people sitting in these cars rather than wanting to know who caused the accident than actually feeling empathy for the victims. The accident quickly ends up in the media. With click click, it flashed. This probably refers to the flashes of people taking pictures, yep. You can also see a broadcasting room with a lot of mics and people in the video at this line. And everyone quickly starts demanding some sort of payment for the culprit's mistakes. Well, well, how pitiful. Self-hanging would be a good apology. Again, not actually caring about the possible deaths this accident has caused, but only wanting the culprit to pay. Ah, uh, okay, so people are just drawn to the hateful side of whatever situation has taken place. People seem to always forget the people affected, and they let the hatred, which is a very powerful emotion, overcome them, overcome their, their reasoning process, causing people to simply focus all their energy on simply attacking the wrongdoer instead of being sympathetic and, or empathetic for the affected but only wanting Culver to pay, only to then tell him that doing so won't cause him to be forgiven either. It can't be forgiven. Corner him, you fleeing, this coward. In this video, you can see the guy with glasses, the appointed culprit, bowing and apologizing with a noose around his head, which probably means that he agreed to everyone's demands of killing himself, but he ends up getting chased anyway since this didn't please people either. This is, okay, this is very reminiscent of cancel culture. Like somebody fucks up, right? And people are demanding them to apologize, demanding some kind of statement, right? And then they release a statement and an apology and not a half-assed one. I'm talking about, let's just say like, they really, really try and like, they really show remorse and they promise that they've changed or that they will change and that they'll do better to set a better example. And with cancel culture, even though that's what people ask of the the offender, once they get what they want, it's like it's not enough. They feel the need to dox, to send death threats, cyberbully, after they have already apologized and that they've shown complete remorse. It's fucked up. That's like you duct taping me, tying me to a chair. You're beating the crap out of me, like legit just going to town, demanding me to apologize. 
and then I apologize, right? And then after I apologize, you look at me for a second, you got what you wanted, and then you just continue, and then you just continue to punch the shit out of me after I've already apologized. That's the connection I'm drawing from that. The former culprit then ends up in another accident after attempting to run away from these people judging him, but this time he's the one dying. Ah yes, again, it's a crash. A flashing red light. People quickly start talking again, this time not even trying to find the actual person at fault, but instead just pointing fingers randomly to fill their need of new gossip. Who's at fault this time? Doesn't matter who. Then it's this one's fault. They blatantly ignore that the person they appointed to be the culprit didn't even cause the accident. Instead, they just want new gossip to spread around. It has nothing to do with me. The wholesale won't sell this. This probably refers to how, without a culprit, media won't have anything to talk about or sell. Ooh. Holy shit, what a connection, wow, wow, wow. So someone has to be appointed as the guilty person. Now, after this, we hear the line, deuce, deuce, deuce. I'm interested in this because I didn't really know why they kept repeating deuce, deuce, deuce. I think it's no coincidence that deuce sounds like juice and you can actually see persons sucking a drink through a straw in the background. I think this juice is the gossip everyone seems to need in this society. Gossiping helps them to feel better about themselves and stops their boredom. You know, something else I'm gonna mention, speaking of juice, did you notice how people's heads were made of fruit? Juice, and people being fruit people. <laughs> Fruit contains that juice. So when people look around in this video, all they see is people with fruits on their head, people containing juice, something to drink out of for their benefit from gossip about them. So maybe that explains the fruit heads. Deuce, 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 until you pass away, until I pass away, we won't cancel the game because of injuries. They won't stop pointing fingers and blaming innocent people, even if this causes innocent people to get hurt, either physically or emotionally, just so they can fulfill their need of nude juice. This awful thinking is further underlined by this line. Moreover, for this self-seeking soul, it's good it received life, but fault-finding, flaw-finding, tireless human nature, recover by the fire, lit by claws. People basically tear other people apart and attempt to find the tiniest flaw. They recover, feel better about themselves, by having something they can feel superior about. Another point this video makes is that just to get new juice, people completely ignore morale or empathy for other humans. This is in very poor taste, amusing. No limits nor morals from the beginning to end. Nowadays, people upload horrible accidents to YouTube just for views. Yeah. Not just that, but I think everyone can remember the video that was uploaded by a YouTuber of a dead person a while ago. Didn't even have to read any further to know where he was going. <laughs> the video refers to these things at 244, where you can see a video posted of the scene from earlier where the guy with glasses died after being chased. You can see his shoes and legs from, from the second 41. I think the yellow woman and man in this video are simply two people who are just as addicted to gossiping juice as most people lately. At the end of the video, we can see their true selves, the red-haired woman and the gray-haired guy. But they built up this alter ego that is better than everyone else by constantly gossiping and making themselves feel superior by doing so. Until coughs burst open, until throats get sore, we too forfeit our size, so if we can always be here, it'd be fine even if I never become human. Now let's move on from life, in this finished world, until deuce runs out. Without sparing flesh and bones, let's cavort. They basically say here that they'll continue gossiping until their throats get sore and there's nothing left to gossip about. They don't care about being an empathetic human as long as they can continue gossiping. I think this video perfectly shows the current guilty until proven innocent way of thinking and the constant need to gossip that everyone seems to have lately. That was a great fucking theory. Anyways, it's become a difficult world to live in, eh? I guess that sums up this video quite well. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Like, the, the connections that he just drew. Let's just, let's give it up for this theory post. Thank you, thank you so much to this guy. He put this perfectly, and I really do feel like this is, this video, now after reading this, is a direct reference to cancel culture nowadays, honestly. And not just cancel culture, I think it's just all in all, uh, if you go to, I mean, if you're in school, especially middle school, high school even more, you'll know how gossip is really at the center of attention. As annoying as it may be, that's just the unfortunate reality. People always just need something. 
something to talk about, something that makes them feel better to get through their days. And imagine just how sad that is, to, that you need to put, you need to put others down or to make someone else feel like absolute shit just to get through your days. That's just, oh my god. It's stupid. And then also something that was referenced in this, how people are just so desensitized and how people lack empathy nowadays. So, so like for example, seeing a dead body, instead of immediately feeling sympathetic, feeling sad, mourning, you know what's our actual instant reaction? To pull this out, pull up the camera, and record because that's how you get views, that's how you get likes on Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, whatever. And that, again, that's something that's so stupid about us nowadays. I really hope we can make steps to get better, obviously. I'm sure you guys are way better about that kind of thing than most, just simply because, just from talking to some of you guys. <laughs> it also shows just like how quickly we move from tragedy to tragedy. The nature of social media is quick. Quick, 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 quick. You some One tragedy happens, then another one happens and when another one happens you quickly forget about everything that happened before it's like the previous tragedy the previous person that died it's like that didn't even happen and this video brings awareness to that anyways that's it great fantastic song honestly I, I love what it's raising awareness for and just as a song in general it was really it was a great lesson me to use voice in this was super interesting a really big change up from what we've been hearing thus far the whole thing was just just Audio-wise was weird in the best way possible. I will reiterate 9 out of 10 in my book Not a 10 out of 10 because there was no zero two in this. Thank you so much for watching and uh, and I look forward to more Miyash to you covers in the future <laughs> Me and Miyash to you are like this Like this. Yeah, fuck his voice dude. His voice Okay, bye